What level of blood sugar is dangerous? Knowing what level of blood sugar is dangerous is important for people with diabetes to stay healthy and prevent complications. Gluco Trust is a new supplement manufactured in the USA that contains a formula of all natural ingredients. These ingredients work together to promote healthy blood sugar levels, safe and effective weight loss, and better sleep. To find out more about this supplement, you may follow the link in the description below. It can also be beneficial for people without a diabetes diagnosis, since knowing what your blood sugar levels are like can lead to earlier intervention for previously undiagnosed blood sugar problems. Diabetes mellitus, more commonly referred to as diabetes, is a disease that is, unfortunately, becoming increasingly well known. Diabetes is a disease affecting the pancreas and its ability to produce the hormone insulin. When the insulin producing cells of the pancreas are destroyed, or when the body doesn't respond to insulin as well as it should, blood sugar levels rise, and diabetes can develop. Insulin helps blood glucose or blood sugar enter our cells, which is used as fuel to support all of the body's functions. Without enough insulin, sugar remains in the bloodstream and can become dangerously high. Having high blood sugar over a prolonged period of time is detrimental to health. According to the University of Michigan, a reading of more than 300 mg per deciliter in a sequence can be harmful. If you have two or more readings over 300 mg per deciliter in a run, call your doctor right once. Extremely high blood sugar levels far or above 300 mg per deciliter can lead to coma in severe circumstances. A high blood sugar reading ranges between 180 to 250 mg per deciliter. Below 70 mg per deciliter is low blood sugar. A level of blood sugar above 250 mg per deciliter or under 50 mg per deciliter is dangerous and requires medical emergency treatment. The optimal blood sugar level that you want to achieve is generally between 70 and 130 mg per deciliter. Here are some general guidelines for blood sugar ranges. If your blood sugar 70 mg per deciliter or lower, you have low blood sugar or hypoglycemia. Raise your blood sugar with a piece of fruit, 2 tablespoons, raisin, or 1 tablespoon of honey. If your blood sugar 80 to 130 mg per deciliter, you have ideal preprandial range or before a meal. If your blood sugar 180 mg per deciliter or lower you have ideal preprandial range when 1 to 2 hours after starting a meal. If your blood sugar 240 mg per deciliter or higher, you need to test urine for ketone. See your doctor if you find a moderate amount of ketones than usual after more than one test. For people with and without diabetes, blood sugar should be less than 130 mg per deciliter before eating to be normal. People without diabetes should ideally have blood sugars in the low 100s or lower before meals. Still, there isn't an official recommendation for normal pre-meal blood sugar ranges in non-diabetic individuals. After eating, people with diabetes should have a blood sugar less than 180 mg per deciliter 1 to 2 hours after starting a meal, or less than 140 mg per deciliter 2 hours after a meal, depending on the standards being used. People without diabetes should have blood sugar less than 140 mg per deciliter 2 hours after a meal. If blood sugar levels are high before eating, it could be a sign of underlying insulin resistance, or a need to increase diabetes medications. If the blood sugar levels are only high after eating, it can be indicative of a diet-related issue. Making diet changes can significantly help reduce postprandial after eating blood sugars. Some people take insulin before eating, so increasing the dose can help with high postprandial blood sugars as well. Healthy blood sugar levels are important for overall health. When blood sugar is high, it does damage to the entire body. The longer the duration of high blood sugar chronic high blood sugar or diabetes, the higher risk of developing complications. This is why managing blood sugar in people with diabetes is the biggest goal. Low blood sugar is also dangerous. Maintaining healthy blood sugar levels can help reduce the risk of developing diabetes later in life. People at increased risk of diabetes should be especially mindful of their blood sugar trends and get screened for prediabetes and diabetes regularly.